Hi everyone, it's Coach Fred here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review on rate of change, and then I'm going to do a problem um, that may have come up on the homework. So when we're talking about the rate of change, I want you to know it's kind of like the slope. Kind of like. It's not always the slope, okay? Um, but you can use what you know about slope to find a rate of change. The thing about a rate of change is that I want you to think of where you've heard the word rates before. It's a unit rate. So a unit rate would be when you did like five apples was $3. How much does one apple cost? So when we're doing a rate of change and it's kind of like slope, you just want to ensure that your denominator is zero. I'm sorry, is one. Not zero, is one. So if I said to you 50 miles per gallon, okay, 50 miles per gallon, this, the rate of change or the slope would be 50 over one. So 50 would be the miles for every one gallon. So again, we wanna focus on the denominator being the number one. But a slope, remember in slope, you can get a slope of like five over six, right? That would not be a rate of change. You'd want to convert it so that it has a denominator of one. All right, so here's what I mean. We have a question. It says, um, here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. A new fast charging electric vehicle can charge a car's battery from 20% to 80% in 30 minutes. If the relationship between charging time and battery percentage is linear, so we're, we know it's linear, what is the rate of change of the battery percentage per minute? Now in this question, it actually tells you per minute, but it won't always say that. It could just say, find the rate of change of the battery percentage. Okay, so first you have to identify which variable is which. So you need to know what is your X and what is your Y. Now you've been learning about functions and we have learned that um, X is the independent variable and Y is the dependent variable. So if I'm ever unsure, I ask myself this one question and I fill it in, like fill in the blanks. What depends on what? So does the battery percent depend on the time or does the time depend on the battery percent? So the, I think you're hearing yourself, the battery percentage depends on time, okay? Y always depends on X, so that's telling me that my time is my X and my battery percentage is my Y. So X is time, battery percent is my Y. Okay, so now I have to turn the data I have into points so I can actually calculate the slope. So um, time, so I start at zero minutes and I go to 30 minutes. So that's, um, my X's would be zero and 30. So here's one point and here's another point. All right, and then my battery percent is 20% and 80%. We'd wanna write those as decimals. So zero would be 0.2 and 80% um, would be 0.8. So now we calculate the slope. So we get, I'm gonna label my points, x1, y1, x2, y2, and then I'm gonna plug them right into the formula. Reminder, the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And until you get that memorized, I actually might have it on a little sticky note on my computer. So m equals 0.8 minus 0.2 all over 30 minus zero. That's gonna give me 0.6 over 30. So now I'm gonna simplify 0.6 over 30 because remember it's a rate of change so I need a denominator of zero, oops. So 0.6 over 30, which is gonna to simplify to 0 0.02 over one. So that means I have a battery percent of 2% every one minute. Okay, 2% every one minute. Okay, so that is my rate of change. Now notice 0.6 over 30, that's your slope. 
okay? But my rate of change, I needed my denominator to be one. Okay, so now how would I take the next question? How long would it take the battery to go from 0% to 100%? So this is actually a great place to use a proportion because now I know that for every one minute, I'm going up 2%. So I wanna know how long it's gonna go from zero to 100. So I'm doing a comparison, which means I can use a ratio or a proportion, or proportion so two equal ratios. So I'm gonna do 0 0.02 over one equals 100% which is one over x, because I'm trying to find how long it would take. And remember, the denominator is my time. So I can cross products here, giving me 0 0.02 equals, I'm sorry, 0 0.02x equals one. I can divide by 0 0.02. And I'm skipping the math here because that's something I think you should be able to do. But that would be x is 50. 0 0.02 goes into the number one 50 times, so it would take approximately 50 minutes to go from um, to go from zero to 100%. Okay, hopefully that was a helpful video. Have a great day.